Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a what's in my bag on this gorgeous little bag right here. If you haven't seen the unboxing on this one, I did have a video on this um, a few weeks back. So I will put the link in the info bar for the unboxing for this. But it is my gorgeous little Chanel classic flap in the size small. And this is in the dark beige leather in the caviar skin and with the... Um, gold plated hardware. It is a beautiful little number and I've actually been wearing her quite a lot lately and I've been loving it and so far the size hasn't bothered me one bit at all but um, if you guys saw that video the main reason that I got this one is literally because I don't have the small in my collection. It wasn't because I thought that it would be a better size or that um, you know I wanted to go compact but really just because I thought that the small looked really cute and I wanted to have one in my collection and since getting it honestly I feel like this actually this size suits me a lot better um, it does you know obviously it doesn't fit as much as the medium large but I'm not missing all that much I guess if you use to like a Chanel mini or like a square mini some sort of you know smaller bag or Chanel walk you're pretty much used to how much this fits so the only difference is for the price you definitely you know you're probably going to get a lot more for your money if you got um, a larger version just to make this video a little bit interesting I might actually compare it to my medium flap and I've got two medium um, I've got three medium flaps actually but um, the two that I wanted to share with you are just my sort of classic medium large I do have it in the black caviar leather with silver hardware I also have it in this lambskin leather with ruthenium hardware I do also have it in the um, Chanel classic flap in the medium large in the black lambskin and gold hardware as well. So um, I'm not doing a comparison video between all different Chanel flaps. I can do that if you want. I've got a seasonal rectangular mini and I've also got a square mini and the Chanel walk. So if you want me to do like a comparison video between all of them, do let me know. But I don't think I will divulge too much of that in this video right now. So this is the Chanel classic flap in the small. As I said, this is in the um, dark beige with the gold hardware. I love 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 how the gold stands out against it against this like a beautiful caramello gorgeous deep beige color I really do love it in the darker beige I think it just stands out a lot better I like the fact that it's a bit more brownie uh, rather than that light beige um, I guess because I'm tan I think it looks a bit better on me but you know to each their own I don't hate the light beige I sort of feel like I came across as hating the light beige I don't hate it I do think it looks better in the lambskin though but just the color of this it looks richer and it just looks more divine to me so that's why I got it in this color and I absolutely love it um, but yeah let's open up the bag so opening it up, this is how it looks. If you've seen Chanel Classic Flaps before, you're probably familiar. It is a double flap bag. So I don't ever put anything in here. It just seems pointless to me. So I pretty much leave that closed. Um, and then there is a pocket back here as well. And I don't put anything back there either. You can put cards, you can put notes, you can put cash. I just don't because if you put something in there it means that you do have to strain the bag getting in and out of it and I just I just don't like to risk it the main thing I use in here is that big main compartment at the front and this bag is packed at the moment actually I don't think I can put anything more in here but let's just sort of open it up and show you what I've got so um, at the front there I've got my um, contact sun solution I could pack a smaller version of this but um, yeah I wear contacts when I go out um, so I always need to have some sort of contact solution around me um, and this is the smallest one that I have so I just bring this one and it still packs fine then that's what's inside I hope you can see to the side there just standing up I've got my coin purse so this is actually my Louis Vuitton clay pochette um, this is the only wallet that I have been using for the past, literally for the past two, three years. I have not really changed out of it since using more like Chanel classic flaps and minis. It's hard to go back to a full size wallet because then that means that I have to 
sort of um, swap wallets as well um, if I'm using like if I'm downsizing to a smaller bag this is just more convenient because I can attach my keys and I never have to worry about um, my wallet and keys not being in the one place so this for me is for convenience I do love like wallets though so I should get back into it but it's just this is more of a convenience thing whereas the wallets are more of like a luxury thing when you're carrying a lot of cash and cards it's nice to be able to bring something out but uh, it's just so much more convenient having this around so I actually have this in the Louis Vuitton um, monogram Damier Ibn and I sort of want it in the Damier Azure just because but that's probably impractical alrighties and then at the back I've actually got my my phone and my my battery pack so my phone is um, just the iPhone 6 s I think how cute is this um, case on it it has like dried pressed flowers this is actually just from H&M for $10 it was really cute and then I have got my battery my power bank and so I actually got this power bank from work and we went to Stradbroke for a cultural immersion which is just where we learn about the indigenous culture and this actually came free in our goodie bag and it's really really convenient it's got two like charger ports on it already so um, I actually love this for that fact if anyone knows of any other power banks very similar to this where it sort of packs its own charger do let me know I like this one but it only charges like one or two I think it only charges like three times but I want to be able to have something a little bit bigger so I can charge like my camera as well um but overall I'm not complaining I do really like this I just don't love that I'm sort of carrying it's not the most fashionable thing but um yeah I do love this one um, and this is like called the Nova Power Bank so I will try and find this as well if I can all right moving on the rest of the stuff in here are just like makeup bits and, and also my sunnies so this is a Louis Vuitton um, sunglasses case this is in the PM because I had the MM but I very rarely carry big sunglasses so I just you know um, I swapped it out for the PM size and then in there I pack my um, sunglasses my Ray-Ban Club Masters I love 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 these they are such a classic and they are probably one of my absolute favorite sunglasses ever they're really really like sturdy um, and they're very small easy to pack and they're lightweight and I just really really like them so that's that one and then the rest of it are just loose bits and bobs there as you can see um, so I'll just bring um, just take them out one at a time I've got my duo lashes here I have got my contacts case two lip glosses I've got the jazzy collection kiss proof lip gloss this is from the Philippines and this is in 05 it's like a chocolatey brown color and then I've got my NYX soft matte lip cream in London at one of my absolute favorite matte nudes can't get enough and I always always have this on me um, and then I've got my eyeliner just to touch up this one is the essence liquid ink eyeliner I love this because it's really really cheap and it's so so small and packable so those are that um, and then I have got chapstick so this one's just the chapstick conditioner and then I've got a travel size perfume this is YSL Parisian I love 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 this it smells so good and that's pretty much everything it's got two back pockets which I, I rarely put anything in there it does have the um, it does have the authenticity card in there right now um, but like honestly that I never put anything in there because nothing ever fits um and then you can just put like movie tickets or you know um receipts at the front which i typically do and then at the back i've actually got my most used um cards and also my go card which is just really really convenient for me um especially since i take the bus to the city because parking is insane so it's just convenient to have it there handy um, to tap on and off rather than reaching opening your bag and reaching for it so um that is everything that's inside you know i think it still fits a fair bit um i don't actually need too much more apart from that and actually this will fit a umbrella surprisingly because i did actually um fit this in when i went to the movies because i was afraid it was going to rain 
and it fits. So I'll just show you what I was carrying last night. It was nighttime, so I didn't wear my sunglasses. If you want to bring your sunglasses and an umbrella, you could probably put like wear the sunglasses instead of putting it in your bag. So this one is from H&M. It's just like a travel size umbrella. Um, it's nice and compact and it fits really easily into my Chanel flap. Brought my power bank because I needed that. I did actually bring sunglasses, but they were my um, glasses instead of sunglasses just in case my eyes got tired and I wanted to change out of my contacts. But I didn't put them in a case. I just put them in because I wasn't too worried about them. Don't think I brought my contacts lens solution. I put my, my wallet standing upright and then as you can see, you still got a fair bit of space on top. So what I did was, you know, when you're trying to pack a lot of things, um, things like cosmetics, um, rather than putting it in a little baggie, it's actually better to put them in loose. So I just put them on top just like that. And that honestly all fit in there. You can slip your phone at the front there as well. Um, and then just close it up and voila, it is closed. So I do have an umbrella in there. The only thing that I took out was this, which is my contact lens solution and the, the case for my sunglasses. But everything else actually fits in there. Um, and my phone even is in there as well. So as you can see, it still fits a fair bit. The only thing though I might mention to you guys is I have been finding that because I've been stuffing it um, when I do go to close it, this um, snap lock here actually catches onto this a lot more than the medium. I don't know why that is. You do really have to be careful of that when you're closing it. If you quickly close it and you don't pay attention, you can definitely sort of damage the lip of that compartment just like that. So I have actually made it a little bit worse, which was not my intention, but it's just I didn't realize how easily it caught on. So that is a Chanel small and just if anyone is curious whether you can pack in a camera like the Canon G7X, you can. You just have to play around with it. You probably can't carry an umbrella and a camera. So what I do is I just put it in, I'm pretty sure I put it in vertically. Yeah, so I put it in vertically just like that, as you can see. Then I put everything else on top. Sorry. There you are. So um, I did actually lay everything vertically and then I put all the extra bits and bobs in the middle part there. And then the phone is just at the front pocket. You can actually close it, but you just have to be a bit careful. And voila, you've got a camera in there. So it actually does fit a little bit more than you would think. And now let me just show you how it compares to what I can actually fit in a Chanel medium large. So if you can see the size difference there, there, there is a fair bit of difference. Some people choose to upsize to the medium large because the price difference isn't very much, but the size difference is um, quite noticeable. But one thing to note, um, what I can fit in this and what I can fit in this is actually a little bit different. And what I can fit in this and what I can fit in this is also a little bit different. So just because they're all medium large, doesn't mean they all fit the same. It actually depends on the leather and the puffiness of the bag um, and how new the bag is. So just um, think about that. Uh, let me just transfer everything that's in here into this bag and then I'll talk about the other sort of medium flaps as well. So I'll just quickly transfer everything in here now. So in terms of the size difference, you can actually see there's so much extra space in the medium large. So I've got in here my camera, um, the clay pochette, my phone, cosmetics, and then I've got my charger. I could probably put my contact lens case on there. And can I fit that as well? Probably not. I can fit my umbrella on top. And then you've probably still got some space for my Sunglasses, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Oh, I think I'm clutching at straws trying to fit my sunglasses with the case. Probably sunglasses without the case you could fit. Yeah, so sunglasses without the case definitely fits 
um, in the um, classic flap. So this is the classic flap in the medium large, quite sizable, but I have always thought that you could fit more than enough in these bags. I don't think it's the smallest bag ever. Um, I think it actually fits fine as a day bag. I get around fine and all I need is this medium large and I don't actually need to fit too much more. So I actually think that this is a pretty good everyday bag if you do want to be able to carry a bit more. And then if I just show you what fits in that compared to what fits in this med medium flat here. So this one is like a um, classic flap, but it is a bit different because sometimes they um, change around how uh, medium flaps look every sort of few years. This is in the like really soft lambskin, as you can see. Uh, it's not as structured as the classic flaps. Um, and it's also got the sort of ruthenium hardware with like this CC design, which is, as I say, a little bit different. This was from the 2008 collection and that year they did the classic flap slightly different. Um, so I'm just gonna transfer everything in here. I love this bag. The feel of this bag is just beyond. I'm gonna move everything in here. So this is everything that fits in here and this actually closes up pretty fine. The reason I wanted to share this bag with you guys is because I could probably fit just a little bit more. Maybe I could put that in there. The reason I wanted to compare this medium flap to this medium flap is because I was actually able to fit a little bit more and the reason being is because this bag is a lot more malleable, a lot softer. So I was actually able to fit the extra contacts lens solution into this bag compared to this bag. It's all about Tetris and how you can fit everything in, but this one definitely could fit more even though they're both the same bags. And then you would think it's because it's lambskin, but it's actually not the case. It's just the way that this particular bag has been made because this is completely like a very soft lambskin leather. I've got another lambskin bag here, which is the Chanel um, medium large in the black lambskin. And this is like the classical structured bag. The bottom on this is a lot firmer than the bottom on this, which is really, really soft and puffy. And the quilts on this is actually very, very puffy, still as you can see this I probably can fit the least amount in even though it's all the same size purely because of how puffy the quilts are you sort of don't want to be deflating it so you can't actually fit all that much this to me fits the least amount of stuff even though like I said it's all the same size so for example let's just move everything back in <laughs> So if I just put everything in here now, this already feels different to the other lambskin flat bag because it's very stiff. So I've just put everything in here that I fit into this bag and I can't because it's it just won't close. The reason is because it's so stiff. So I actually have to pull a bit of stuff out. Um, I definitely can't bring my contact lens solution. And then if I just, I'm still like sort of struggling to close it. Um, I'll probably have to take my sunglasses out. You know, in the silver, I could at least fit the sunglasses case, but in this one, I had to take that out. So as I said, this fits the least for me, even though it's all the same size. So I don't know, just I thought I'd do a little quick comparison there and just show you guys how um, all the different Chanel flaps fit. Um, so that is my what's in my bag and a little comparison of this gorgeous cutie right here. Um, overall, pretty happy to have this size in my collection. I'm not feeling too overwhelmed with how small it is because I'm pretty used to smaller bags like my Chanel Mini and like my Wok so I'm actually pretty fine. This is a really great size for anyone who's more on the petite side like myself. It just looks nicer on your frame and I actually like the overall like proportions of this one. It just it looks 
I don't know, it looks more elegant than the um, medium large. If you guys enjoyed this, if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and let me know what you want to see next from me in the comment section below. Let me know which one's your favorite. Have you tried out the Chanel Classic Flaps? Do you prefer one size over the other? What do you think of the small size? Do let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, but that is it from me, you guys. Um, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week or weekend and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.